Emergency call out. Private care home. Fault is on this utility breaker here. So dual RCD consumer unit. There's a fault on this circuit. It's tripping the MCB. This is labeled up utility. And uh, this is tripping the MCB out, which is also taking the RCD out. When the RCD goes, it's obviously taking this entire bank of circuits out. Um, as you can see on this is a radial circuit and it looks like a four mil, but it's stranded silver cable, so very old. Yep, stranded and silver. So yeah. Extremely old cable. There's been some partial rewiring here. We've got this. so this needs testing every five years or less. So we've got last tested 21, recommended 26. So still still in date if we've got all the paperwork. We've got some issues that were highlighted in 2018. No CPC on any of the wall lights. So class two fittings are having to be used. So yeah, it seems like there's multiple issues with age and with this installation. So I've just done an RCD check on this. We've got, okay, at half times, we've got 114, 106. It's still past that, but it's a lot higher than what I would expect. So it was 34 to five times, but the one times is what we are looking at there. 114 and 106. So the RCD is coming in as a pass. So I've got no faults with that. I'm gonna go and check the incoming, I'm gonna check the incoming supply now. Five, which is okay 1.6 ka which is also okay for these 6 ka breakers right so this cable here for the circuit for the utility is you know way over 40 years old so i would have highlighted this on the condition report personally as being a potential you know um it just would have been an observation that this could cause problems in future may need rewiring at some point okay we're doing insulation resistance of the circuit everything's disconnected now <clears throat> 500 volts live and neutral seven mega ohms Live and earth, so that's a fail, and then neutral and earth four or five mega ohms, right? So they're low readings than what I would want, but they're still a pass. But the live to earth is a fail on the insulation resistance, so on your condition report, that would have been a uh, a fail a fail so it'd either been a c2 or a further investigation so it would have been an unsatisfactory outcome because of that we've got a vermin problem in here as well that problem that problem there get them chewing through cable sometimes under the floor okay so this is a utility the first few things I would right so there's a shower room on here but there's no power points in here so I can write that off for the minute so one thing noticed is the use of extension leads which isn't a good thing sockets in incorrect positions and not enough power points so extension leads are being used we've got a faulty switch on this extension lead again which isn't good potentially could be dangerous so that's one observation again i would have highlighted on your 
condition reports that you get. So that's one thing I've noticed visually. Um, I'm going to pull these machines out now. Have a look behind there. There's no power points in here. Doesn't look like. Okay, so behind here, got a major ant problem. So I noticed there was some dead ants in that socket at the back. So I'll have a look in the back of that socket first to see if there's anything obvious in there. So it seems like in here we've only got this one socket and then that socket up there on this circuit. Maybe one in the kitchen. Oh, keep looking. Just spray them with this. Give it, give it 10 minutes. So I've just, as you can see, they've all start coming out of the, this vent here, there's hundreds of them coming out the wall, out the vent, out the floor. I've sort of just hoovered this whole area up, all the dead stuff. And then obviously lots of them have come, started coming out of the, I've disturbed something and they're all coming out of the floor as well as they're all behind the plasterboard in the vents and everything. So I'm just going to let these all die and then I can get that socket off. So behind there, if you can see inside there, you've got cable, single cable coming through a metal hole with no grommet. And then a hole at the bottom, the box isn't fixed to the wall. So two holes in it, no grommets, and not fixed. So that's the first socket I've taken off. In here, as well as you've got the dated cables, the very old cables coming out of the consumer unit, you've got the ant infestation in here. I've took this socket off here and it is full of dirt and soil and dead ants inside. So they're going to be contributing, this is going to be contributing towards faults. So all the ants have, will have brought all this dirt up into this bat box as I've seen this before over a period of time. That's why the floor was filled with sand and dust before I hoovered it. So again, this, someone's obviously, when they've done the condition report and they've not pulled the appliances out to even check behind here, because again, I would have highlighted this as a vermin potentially causing issues with the electrical installation in future, and it has done. Okay, so this is the end of the line, the radial circuit. We've got two cables there, jointed, and then end of the line here, R1, R2 is 0.4, so with that reading seems okay. So we've proved that we've got an earth here. It's just that the main issue in here is the ant slash vermin infestation, which is causing faults, it seems, on with the accessories and the wiring. Um, the cable from the consumer unit to here is very old, um, and there's obviously been joints because here it's a solid copper cable, black and red, whereas there it's a black and red silver stranded cable. So between the consumer unit and here, there's some joints somewhere that we can't see. Based on everything I've seen here, just the utility, these couple of sockets, the consumer unit, the vermin this end, the vermin that end. But the few other visual things that I've pointed out, if I was testing this, doing a condition report here, I would pretty much guarantee this place would fail. I would recommend that this be have a 100% condition report done on the property because this is a, a, such a small part of the electrical installation. I bet there'll be more issues elsewhere as well that haven't been found. This is the socket I'm replacing as it's rusted with moisture. It's got loads of dead ants in it and live ones. Um, so it's not in a good condition this anyway. So I'm replacing this with a new one. 
Right, so we're going to do ZS now. Point three three, yep. Yeah. That is okay. That's the end of the line. And then so we've just done the ZE there, that was okay, that's replaced again now. That's put back, sorry. This is replaced with a new socket now. Yeah. This is the middle point, but do a check anyway. There you go, point two eight. Good. And we're gonna plug all these appliances back in now and just run them to make sure everything's okay. Right, so got rid of the extension lead here because it was unnecessary. One, it was faulty. Two, it was unnecessary because the fridge plug reaches to there. So I've took that out, got rid of that. Got the dryer and the washer running at the minute now. So we're just gonna run these for a bit, make sure we don't have any problems while I put all the cover back on the consumer unit. Yeah, this is maintained by British Gas. Supposedly maintained. You've got issues highlighted in 2018. You know, hopefully they've been dealt with. Um, Here we've got the test date on here saying it was tested in 21 and it's due testing again in 26. So because of the use of the building, it's the private rental sector. So this needs testing every five years because um, it's a private care home. One thing I don't like about this is old consumer unit. It's very busy, overcrowded. Dual RCD consumer unit as well. Again, there's nothing wrong with it because uh, everything's covered by RCDs, but if one RCD goes, it takes out all these circuits and that takes out all them circuits as well. So major inconvenience, like for this particular fault that we've got here, it was just a utility which had two sockets on it, was taken out, ground floor, kitchen sockets, utility, garage, kitchen sockets, telephone, modem, front bedroom sockets, first and second floor lights, so it's causing that major inconvenience. So this being upgraded to a RCBO consumer unit would be a very good idea. 